All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. You're looking at the uh, Ant Miner B9. Uh, this is the lower end model, you could say, compared to some of the other ones that's out there in the, in the world. But we got to start somewhere, and I figure since this price isn't too bad, let's go ahead and uh, get it and see what happens. So, we have our fans here, 120 millimeter fans, I believe. They're 12 volt fans. Uh, <clears throat> you have your ethernet jack here. Then it has a IP report, an SD card, your Ethernet jack, as I said, a fault light, a normal light, and a reset switch. <clears throat> you hook in your uh, power supply cables here. There's three, six, nine. Then if we move this ribbon cable here, you can see there's one right here for that to power the board, which powers the fans, controls the fans. Uh, you can pick these up on uh, eBay or Amazon or whatnot. Uh, the one seller on eBay is also on Amazon. So, uh, this is brand new. It's not used. They recommend using the Bitmain uh, power supply for this, the 1600 watt version, per the paperwork. Um, there's no other configuration needed. You just plug in your uh, ethernet port here, cable, and uh, it's a DHCP uh, address. Then you can log in through a web browser to set this uh, thing up to mine uh, what it's able to mine. So, uh, looking here at the paperwork, you have to power all three of the boards. You cannot power just one or whatever. And also, it's highly recommended to use one power supply for one of these miners. Don't split into two power supplies. That may definitely cause some problems. Uh, let's see here. Any other helpful things? Like I said, in the uh, the username and password is root by default. So, and like I said, you can use <clears throat> like this power supply here to uh, hook up your 10 connections that you need in order to fire this puppy up. So, I just figured I'd kind of do a short video of what this looks like and all for the people out there that might be thinking about getting one of these regardless if it's this version or a better one or whatnot but uh, let's do some measurements so we're looking around five inches wide overall we'll say 12 inches one foot and the height is overall it's about six and a quarter six and a half so not very big uh, the intake is here on the front then the exhaust is here so one's pulling sucking in one's blowing out and these things are pretty noisy. I believe they're around like 50 some dB or 60. I'm not quite 100% sure on that. So uh, you do not want to put this in your living room while you're watching uh, the tube. The wife might get mad. So uh, might work better in a closet in a controlled environment. So it doesn't overheat 
but uh, I'm going to do another video firing this up setting it up so I just figured I kind of do some breakdown videos to kind of help people out a little bit this is new to me a little so I'm learning along the way so all right thanks for watching stay tuned for another one